Does your parrot know how to roll with change? And is it a good thing to change things up for your parrot? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I have 22 species of parrots. I love parrots. This is my Harlequin macaw. That that you heard is my Catalina macaw. Let's see if we can get her to step in. There we go. If you're used to hanging out with us, thank you for being here. If you're new, I love sharing my bliss and I love inspiring you to have a blissful bond with your parrot. And today, that is about going deaf and uh, giving your parrot change. So in the wild, <laughs> parrots would preen my hair all the time. In the wild, parrots are accustomed to having things change all of the time. They don't have a cage or a home that they go to every night. Instead, they do have a territory, so they do stay within their territory. But for example, from a cause, it can be miles and miles and miles. So they uh, may fly within their territory, but and they may stay within their territory, but they're going to be going to different places all of the time and seeing different things. Of course, part of that is so that they can forage and find food. In our homes, unfortunately, they don't have that ability, of course, to have different um, environments, different setups, gentle, and therefore things can get pretty stagnant. For example, if you don't change the, uh, your parrot's cage or the cage location. Now, shifting things up for your parrot can be good. On the one hand, parrots do really well with the routine. They know what's coming. They like routines. Hi, sweetie. What are you doing? They're like ganging up on me. They're like, we're gonna preen you. You're at the beauty parlor. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, you know, they like routines and it's a really good way of communicating with them. When they know what's going on, they're more likely to do what you want them to do. For example, every morning when we're getting ready to bring the mech monsters out back here, they know where they're going, they know what's going on, so they step up and they're happy to come out, they're happy to fly around in here because it's a habit. They know the habit, they know the routine, and they know where I hide my hair clip. Gentle, be gentle, be gentle, mech monster. Yeah, you be gentle. Pet, 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 there you go, be gentle, be calm. So on the one hand, those habits are good because your parrots know when, they ha when you have a routine, they know what's going on and they know what to expect. On the other hand, when there isn't any change, um, that means that when something does change, it can really freak out your parrot. So, some suggestions for you to change things up for your parrot. Change their cage. It's always good to have a backup cage because that way you can clean one while they're using the other one. And it's nice to give them a change. So, if one of your cages has different perches, different toys, that's gonna help give them some stimulation and some mental engagement. Number two, change the location of the chain of the of the cage your parrot you know is going to benefit from not always having the same vista if unfortunately like you're gone during the day because you're at work or at school and your parrot's in their cage that's all the more reason to give them a change that way they're not looking at the same thing in the wild again they would be really seeing something different not all day long but a lot of the day and you know whatever they're looking at it would at least change some as compared to when they're at home and they're in their cage and it doesn't change. So try to find a couple different locations and rooms that your parrot can be in that are safe and comfortable so your parrot doesn't stress out, but that does break up the routine a little. Because even within the routine, you can have change. And change can be a part of your routine. That can be really good for your parrot. Um, another idea, you know, try doing things if you can like hiding some food in your house for your parrot to fly around and look for that would be a really good foraging exercise and really good engagement 
Of course, you can also give them new toys and enrichment made from real branches that are non-toxic and that are going to allow your parrot to do things like eat the bark on, <laughs> um, <clears throat> on the branches without having uh, anything negative happen. They like the bark, and, and by the negative, of course, I mean that it has to be non-toxic. They like the bark. It's really good for them. There's no problem if they rip off the bark or if they eat the bark. Good flying, girls. Are you showing off? Good flying. Woo, woo, woo. Wow. Uh, I do things like whenever I can, I will maybe put a parrot on a harness, take them for a walk maybe put them in a backpack or take them um, and take them to my mom's for lunch kind of thing. <laughs> Sometimes I put them in a backpack or on a harness and go out to lunch and then sit outside somewhere <laughs> where it's, um, you know, where I can take a pet the same way you would do it if you were going somewhere and taking your dog and eating <laughs> out in the patio. All right. I hope that gives you some ideas to stimulate your parrot and i don't mean by letting them eat your shirt no no don't eat my shirt um I hope, you know to stimulate your parrot to get them used to change because you know that way when you do things like go to the vet it's not like as traumatic for them because if they're already used to getting in the car and they're already used to maybe getting in the birdie carrier or in the regular carrier yeah it can become routine you know like if you can once a week you should try to do something to change things up to them it, it gives them a little fun, it gives them a little excitement without being stressful, and it teaches them to handle some change so that later on they don't get stressed if they need to for any reason. All right, I'm gonna wrap up with my mech monsters that are like semi-mech torturing me today. If you have any questions about parrots, please be sure to comment below. I love reading your comments. If your parrot is um, having any stress, Please try Tink's Must Have Parrot Relief on ParrotBliss.com. It is CBD in hemp oil for parrots. The hemp oil is really beneficial because it has the right balance of omegas. And so that's just really good for your parrot, especially if your parrot is having um, seizures, which I didn't know that happened to parrots until it happened to one of our parrots, Tink. Uh, we had a green cheek who had seizures. I, it was, I was really shocked to find out that the parrots can have seizures. And um, the CBD and hemp really helped. It, it really reduced her seizures. So that was really a wonderful, fabulous thing. All right, thank you for joining me in this feathered, big, beaked, monster, beaked, mech, wonderful video. Catch you.